assalamu alaikum students welcome back to the lecture today we are going to learn about sets we learn about the definition of the set about representation of the set we also discuss about the subsets proper subsets and improper subset we also learn about the cardinality and uh, cardinality of sets and cardinality of cartesian products we also represent the sets on the venn diagrams for the operations of union intersections and differences first of all the definition of the set a set is a well defined collection of distinct objects sets are usually denoted by capital letters we can represent the sets by using the capital letters like a b c x y or z with any capital letter can be used to represent the set but the elements of the set are represented by small letters and the number of element present in a set is called the cardinality of the set or order of the set how many elements present in the set is called the cardinality of the set or in other words we can say that this is called the order of a set in the case of finite sets definition of subset if every element of a also belong to another set b then a is called the subset of a set b and it is represented by the notation a is a subset of b if all the elements of a belongs to b then a is the subset of b here we talk about the elements of a not about the elements of b all the elements of a belong to the elements of b but may or may not all the elements of b belongs to a set of a probably there are some elements in the set b not belongs to the set a now we moves to discuss about this cases a subset can be proper or improper subset either proper subset or improper subset if every element of a set a is also contained in an other set b agar hamare paas a ke sare ke sare elements jo hain wo b wale set mein contain kar rahe ho but b has at least one element lekin b mein kam as kam ek element aisa zarur ho jo ke which is not in a jo ke a mein na ho तो फिर हम ए को क्या कहेंगे कि ए जो है वो प्रॉपर सबसेट है किसका बी का फिर इस टाइपिंग मिक्स मिस्टेक वो हैव बी देन ए इज़ अ प्रॉपर सबसेट ऑफ बी अगर ए के सारे के सारे एलिमेंट किस में कंटेन कर रहे हैं बी में लेकिन बी में एटलीस्ट एटलीस्ट का वर्ड हमने यूज़ किया है कि एक एलिमेंट ऐसा ज़रूर हो जो ए में ना हो इट मीन्स एक से ज़्यादा तो जितने भी हो सकते हैं बी में तो फिर ए जो है वो बी का क्या होगा प्रॉपर सबसेट अब हम देख लेते हैं कि इम प्रॉपर सबसेट्स जो हैं वो क्या होते हैं ऑन द अदर हैंड इफ बी डज नॉट हैव एनी एलिमेंट विच इज नॉट कंटेन इन ए देन ए इज इम प्रॉपर सबसेट ऑफ बी एंड इट इज डी नॉट बाय है वी कैन सी डेट वी यूज द नोटेशन इज अ सबसेट ऑफ बी नॉट वो यूज द इक्वल नोटेशन हर वी कैन रीड दिस मैथमेटिकल नोटेशन एज ए इज a subset or equal this line represent the equality probably a and b are equal or a is a subset of b as we know that every set is its own subset next definition equal sets two sets a and b are said to be equal if a is contained in b and b is contained in a then we can say that a is equal to b these two sets are equal if all the elements of a contain in b and all the elements of b contain in a then we say that a is equal to b these two sets are equal next definition is power set a set consisting of all possible subsets of a set is called power set of that set basically power set is a set whose elements are also in the form of sets Okay, or and power set is a set in which all possible subset of a set. If we consider a power set of a set A, 
इफ ए इज अ नॉन एम्प्टी सेट होज कार्डनैलिटी इज एन देन इट्स पावर सेट कार्डनैलिटी इज टू रेज टू पावर एन सिर्फ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिजल्ट इफ अ सेट कॉन्टेन्स एन एलिमेंट देन द कार्डनैलिटी ऑफ इट्स पावर सेट इज टू रेज टू पावर एन एंड द पावर सेट इज बेसिकली अ सेट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल सबसेट्स ऑफ अ सेट और इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन सी डेट अ पावर सेट इज अ सेट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ ऑल पॉसिबल सबसेट्स ऑफ अ फाइनाइट सेट्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ एन एलिमेंट्स देन द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स प्रेजेंट इन अ पावर सेट इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ सेट्स और दोज आर द सबसेट ऑफ अ सेट ए आर टू रेज टू पावर एन we will consider a example where a is a set consisting of three elements a b and c here we can say that the cardinality of a is 3 then first of all if we want to find its all possible subset then we have to find the cardinality of power set of x of a as cardinality of a is 3 then the cardinality of power set of a is 2 raised to power 3 that is equal to 8 it means 8 possible subset of a now we represent these eight possible sets in a set form to find the power set of a first of all empty set is a subset of every set then second one a is a every set is a subset of itself then we consider singleton set consisting of single elements a uh, set consisting of a element a set consisting of one element that is b a set consisting of one element that is c now we consider sets consisting of two elements and we have a sets consisting of two elements that is ab then we consider a set consisting of pc and the next possibility is ac no other uh, possible subset of a set a and we can count these all sets that one 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we have eight possible subsets of a set a that is represented by a power set of a if we can see that these this set power set consisting of elements that all elements of the power set are in the form of sets and these sets are the basically subsets of a given set a whose power set we have to find next term union of sets if a and b are two non empty set then union of a and b is given by a union b and the tableau representation of the union is given here a union b consisting of all the elements that are either containing a or containing b Okay, a union B consisting of all such x elements. Either x belongs to A or x belongs to B. We can also represent this by this is using this notation. Now we represent union of two sets by Venn diagram. Here we shade our uh, set A by red. color and we represent set b by blue color then union of these two sets is represented by blue color consisting of the whole area either belongs to a or either belongs to b next we discuss about the intersection of a set if a and b are two non empty sets then intersection of a and b is given by a intersection b or uh, consisting of all elements x such that uh x belongs to a and x belongs to b in the case of intersection we have and and in ca case of union we have or we can also represent intersection of two sets in tabular form given here in set builder form given in this set next we represent the intersection of two sets by venn diagrams Here we shade the set. Our uh, A is shaded below blue, and second one B set is shaded red. Then the intersection of these two sets is shaded red, and the common portion 
of these two sets is given here that is belongs to the both sets a and b is called the intersection of a and b complements of a set if a is a non empty set and u be a universal set such that a it contain in u then complement of a is given by a complement and this a uh, complement of a consists of those element such that x belongs to u but x does not belongs to a basically we have to take the complement of a set a it means we consider all those elements not belongs to a but belongs to universal set u and we can see that uh, the set a is shaded here and the this square represent the universal set u then the a complement represent the region outside the a it means all the elements not belong to a but belongs to u next we discuss about the difference of a sets let a and b be two non empty sets then a minus p and a minus b minus a are given as we have to calculate the difference of a minus a small a difference b it means we have the elements in this set such that x belongs to a but x does not belongs to b it means we subtract the element of b from the elements of a we can also call this a minus b is the complement of b with respect to a this is basically a complement of b with respect to a next one b minus a in the case of b minus a we can say that the complement of a with respect to b in this case we have the element x such that x does not belong x does not belongs to a but x belongs to b such as we take the complement of a set a with respect to b we can also represent this by a venn diagram here we can see that a is shaded in blue and uh, b is shaded in red a is shaded blue here we have a and b is shaded red this is b then the difference a minus p is given here shaded in the blue region that we subtract the set basically this is the set b we subtract the set b from the elements of set a then we have a region given here we have this region we subtract all the set p from the set a and we have a region shaded in blue that gives us the value of a minus b and the region shaded in red gives us the value of b minus a that we subtract the all values of a from the set b disjoint sets if a and b are two non empty sets then a and b are said to be disjoint sets if the intersection is empty two sets are said to be disjoint if its intersection is empty here we can represent these sets by using the venn diagrams a and b are disjoint if intersection o a intersection b is empty or in other words we can say that if the intersection of two sets or two sets are disjoint then we can say that a minus b is equal to a and b minus a is equal to b here we represent two sets a and b that are disjoint it means no element common in these sets that their intersection is empty next term is cartesian product if a and b are non empty sets then cartesian product of a and b is represented by a cross b of a and b is the set of all possible order pairs uh, such that in the form of a b where small a belongs to capital a and small b belongs to capital b in the case of cartesian product we have all possible order pairs of uh, two sets here we can see that the representation uh, set built notation of the cartesian product that is given here a cross b uh, this gives us the order pair such that for all a belongs to a and for all b belongs to b
have we consider an example where we have a set a consisting of three element a b and c and set b consisting of two elements two and four then when considered the cartesian product we have to find actually a cross b that is uh it gives us the value or in the form of set cartesian product gives us a set whose element consisting of the order pair as we see in this case of power set power set is a set whose element consisting of a sets but in the case of cartesian product cartesian product is a set whose element consisting of the order pair first of all we pick the first element of a set a that is small a and we format its order pair with all the elements of the b then have we considered the first element of the b is 2 the first order pair is represented by a comma 2 where a belongs to the set a and 2 belongs to the set b the next order pair consisting we fix the first element a and the second element of the set b now we fix the second element of the set a that is b and we made is order pair format its order pair with the both elements of the set b and we can see that here we have b and b comma 2 next order pair is b comma 4 and next uh, similarly we fix the set element c and make its order pair with both the elements of the set b then we have c comma 2 and c comma 4 how next uh, is similarly we have find b cross a here the first element of the order pair is belongs to the set b and the second element of the order pair is belongs to the set a clearly we can see that a cross b is not equal to b cross a the cardinality of the cartesian product a cross b is can be find by using the rule if we have to find the car, uh, cardinality of a cross b then we can find its cardinality by just simply multiplying the cardinality of a and b the cardinality of a multiply cardinality of b then we can find the cardinality of a cross b or the cartesian product of a and b if we can uh, verify this result as here we can see that the cardinality of a is 3 and the cardinality of b is 2 if we multiply the cardinality of these two sets we have 3 multiply 2 that is equal to 6 and clearly we can see that in the cartesian product there are six order pairs 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 it means the cardinality of a cartesian product is simply the product of a and b in the next lecture we will discuss about the functions and its type